Now you can easily connect your ACT 365 account to Microsoft Outlook on your computer. This will allow you to create contacts and activities from within Outlook, which will be saved in your ACT 365 database. Here's how to get started. First, let's open Outlook, and then we're going to click on the Store button at the top right. This will take you to the Add-ins area for Outlook. So in the search box, type ACT and hit Enter. Scroll down until you see either ACT 365 or ACT Essentials contact link, and then click the Add button. Once the blue check mark appears, the add-in has been added to Outlook. If you want, you can click Get Started to view information about what this add-in can do. If you click the My Add-ins button here, you should now see that the ACT add-in is enabled for you. So let's close this window. Now in Outlook, let's look at an email from one of our contacts. I'd like to add this person to ACT 365. At the top, you should now see the ACT contact link in your header bar on the right. Let's click that now so that we can connect it to our ACT 365 account. All you have to do here is enter your email address and password for ACT 365. Once you've entered your email address and password, click Submit, and you will have now successfully connected to ACT 365 through the ACT contact link. When this happens, the pane on the right will change, and it's now populated with some options. Notice at the top here it says that we can add one new contact to ACT. That's because this person, Derek Merica, does not yet appear in my ACT 365 database. So let's click the Add Contact button to the right. Next, we'll fill out as many fields as possible. And it's okay if you don't have all this information right now because you can always edit the contact in ACT later. Notice also that there are two tabs here, General Information and Address Information. Once you have all that information entered, click the Save button, and this will create the contact in ACT 365. Next up, I want to add this email that I received as a history record in ACT 365. That way, when I look up this contact later on in ACT, I'll be able to see the exact contents of the email on their contact record. And that means I won't have to go searching through Outlook because the email will be right there for me in ACT. This is easy to do. We'll go back to Contacts, and then this paperclip button is called the Create Email Activity button. I'll click that, and then click OK to confirm the attachment. And that's it. Finally, let me also create a quick note activity for this contact. That way, I can remind myself later on for some task that I need to perform. So we'll click this button to create the quick note, and from here, you can edit the subject and the details of the note if you want. Once you're finished, click the Save button, and that will finish creating this quick note in ACT 365. As you can see, this activity also shows up here in Outlook. At any time in Outlook, you can use the ACT contact link to view contact details or activities for anyone who emails you. All you have to do is select the email that is either to or from the contact you're interested in, then click the ACT contact link, and finally click the person's name. And now you have access to their contact details, as well as any activities, past or future, that are associated with them. <laughs>